Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Aries. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Aries, I'm doing your reading with my triple stack of cards blended into one. So you will see a mix of all three in your spread today. So we've got magic or alchemy on the split. And then the page of earth at the bottom of the deck, which talks to me about remembrance actually. Okay, so, it, well, that's interesting. As I'm placing them down beside, side by side, you can see the wing here, right, is kind of echoed in this card here, and then the magic, this is tying into the, was it the Pisces reading where there was a return of magic, and magic was the name of a being? So it's almost like it's referring back to that. But this, this being here, initially I thought it was related to you, but maybe it isn't. Maybe this is somebody else that is, that is um, coming into view for you that brings with them some sort of magical remembrance. It's like a, an idea is being brought to you that is going to trigger some sort of magical remembrance. I'm not sure what that means exactly, but perhaps it'll reveal itself in the rest of the cards. Okay, so let's pull an overall energy from the Dream Decoder deck. Okay, shopping, shopping. Okay, well, this is interesting. Card is shopping. Right, okay, so it represents choices. But, you know, like shopping around, considering possibilities, the possibilities on offer, the decisions you need to make, the attitudes or, respons or responses available to you. Okay, so browsing is basically an opportunity or a prompt for you to review your opportunities. So it's almost like this aspect here with the magic and the page of earth is something that you may discover as you are browsing. You know, it's almost like being in a bookstore and just kind of scanning the shelves and a particular book stepping forward for you. And as I'm saying that I'm looking, I haven't seen this card in a really long time, but these in this blue area here, these little yellow spots always look to me kind of like cat eyes, right? So it's almost like a presence or a consciousness stepping forward out of the scenery in order to catch your attention. Could be while you're not quite expecting it. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're there maybe doing something else. Something catches your eye and you realize that it's it's for you, that it requires further investigation or engagement. So maybe this is something that you'll discover in a book, a character, a personality, maybe the, the writer, the author of the book. Okay, perhaps. So it's interesting because what's already on the table here today for you, Aries, is, is talking about something new coming in, which I want to say is a new engagement of sorts. It's almost looking to me like you're um, maybe making some new friends, maybe maybe stumbling into kind of a new community. Um, and in that, maybe that's what this is talking about. Within that new grouping or community, there's something specific that could be almost camouflaged at the beginning like I'm describing here with this shopping card, it's like there's a lot of variety surrounding you. And if you spend some time kind of investigating or scanning the scenery or the variety or the individuals that make up this group, there may be one specific element or individual or piece of information that will step forward for you. I wanna say that that's really being highlighted by the cards on the split here makes more sense of what's on the table here. Okay, so 
We're beginning with the acceptance card and then this card coming next to it. You can see how I love when there's, you know, kind of connections between the cards. The look, the look in the faces of these individuals is bringing this idea to, to me actually that, okay, what's well, something like, I want to say you're going into a new situation, right? Maybe you're at a new job. Maybe you're in a new neighborhood. Maybe you're even just traveling or just exploring somewhere that's perhaps new. I'm not sure why it's coming through as new. I mean, if you're kind of in the mall or the shopping center, I'm sure you've been there a thousand times. So there's something new about it. Maybe you're there looking for something that you haven't. If you're, if you're going shopping for something that you haven't shopped for before, it may kind of bring you down an aisle that you haven't been down before and opening all of that up for you, right? It's like maybe you just haven't quite turned this corner. So something has led you there. And then once you're there, there's a lot, right? It's like it's coming through with a plethora, like a, a spectrum, a variety, a constellation. Interesting with the starry night is the beginning card here. A constellation of information or... Um, individuals or characters, personalities, products, whatever it is, there's a variety. And I want to say that somewhere in the mix is perhaps this kind of magical aspect. It's a magical remembrance. Is that what I said at the beginning? Okay, so there's something here about this with the acceptance card and the seven of water that's looking to me like kind of a presentation, what is being presented to you, there's some sort of an invitation or yes, an invitation for deeper engagement. And that's why the acceptance card is coming up. It's kind of like, it requires your investigation and your agreement or willingness to step further into it. Okay, but it's something like this. With the seven of water, or the seven of cups, it's almost like, it's being presented to you, right? I see this as kind of like watching a show, sitting down to watch a movie or a show. So it's like there's some sort of a presentation, but it could just be the presentation of what is possible, what's on offer in the shopping center example, right? You know, kind of turning down a new aisle and everything that is before you is the presentation, right? But it's almost, it's coming through kind of as individuals, especially with this animals or companionship card coming next to it but there's this sense of you kind of being the new arrival on the scene in a sense perhaps they're all this is all already there going on and you're the one entering the scene and upon entering the scene it's almost like everything is presented to you it's almost like everybody turns towards you and has something on offer right but especially with it being the seven of cups here that's a decision point so there's a, there's a decision that needs to be made by you because it's almost like it's all really welcoming and it's all available to you. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like you could choose all of it. You could, you could just take home every aspect of it. See what I mean? But with this two of air coming next, the two of swords, the birds on the fingertips, I love this card because the birds on the fingertips are really significant in that there's, well, and then tying it into this card, I've never noticed in this card before now, there's these two birds here, right? Like right up close of all of the other stuff going on, all the variety, there's these birds that are right up close, which is really interesting, maybe a clue. They could be easily overlooked because, because there's so much going on and there's such a variety that the, the birds are almost understated right? Compared to say a giraffe or, you know, other more vibrant or a space filling energies or entities or ideas, the birds are the more delicate energy in the room, right? But it's interesting how there's two of them, if that is significant. So there may be two of them, but they're like, they're alike. So it's almost like you walk into a room and there's a group of people, two of them may be somehow pre-associated or they're similar. Maybe they look similar. Maybe they're wearing similar colors or they, their mannerisms are similar. They're, they're the quiet ones, perhaps something like that. You see what I mean? It doesn't have to be those specific characteristics, but there's something about them that makes them more similar than like the, everything else is very diverse. 
Okay, so there's this presentation. You're being presented with a, a buffet of opportunities. And in the mix is this delicate energy that is, is, is presenting as very up close to you that could just be talking about that. It's almost like you have to lean into it to really um, make the connection because it's not as loud or um, bold as the other energies, okay? So, but once you discover that aspect, it's like there's a there's an immediate kind of natural flow or natural connection that happens with this. It's that, it's that book that you notice kind of tucked into the others, but it quietly makes itself known. And then when you choose it, and that's kind of the acceptance card here, when you choose it, it it's almost like it becomes, the, the rest gets swept aside, right? It's like once you've chosen that book off the shelf, there's no reason to continue engagement with the rest of the scene. It becomes a very intimate exchange. Does that make sense? It becomes just you and the birds, whatever they represent. Okay, so, and then with the, the time and discipline card coming next, it's talking to me about um, that there's kind of a lot of honing, a lot of work, a lot of practice to be done there. It's almost like you've stumbled upon some sort of instructional manual or some sort of teaching manual, for example, or some sort of teacher, teacher energy, perhaps. It's basically like there's a lot to discover there that um, there's an interest. You have an immediate interest in connecting with this energy, whatever it is. And the more you kind of play around with it, that's what this that's what this card talks to me about is this kind of experimentation kind of playing with it to see what evolves and it's like the more you play with it the more you experiment with it or just spend time with it the more it becomes apparent that um it's almost like that a new discipline is emerging for you some sort of new area of learning does that make sense that it's opening up kind of a new a new area of study or mastery that's going to take it's like it's just the beginning of perhaps a long process it could turn into years of study right so it's kind of opening up a whole new section of the of the bookstore in a sense so this could just be this engagement could just be kind of a gateway experience which is funny if you know the Monroe Institute a gateway experience a gateway experience that's opening the door to, uh, you know, an entire library of information in this direction, perhaps. I mean, because then look at the seven of air comes next. It's like, here comes the rest of the birds, the rest of the bird kind, which these, but these two are highlighted, right? These two of a kind, it starts with these two. And I'm not sure why it's emphasizing two but perhaps you will know, and maybe that's not so significant. It just has to do with, okay, it, it could just have something more to do with a broad variety and then honing on in on a specific like species or a specific life form or thought form or philosophy, right? And then kind of ridding the rest of the scene and focusing in on the bird kind. You see what I'm saying? So, but they, but the original, the original birds, the original pair, is the gateway to opening up to the rest of that aspect of the animal kingdom, for example. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so, and then the passage in the New Beginnings. It, these two cards coming together are really highlighting this being an incredibly significant kind of threshold point, initiation, a passage that you know and it coming out under the acceptance card it's kind of like if you if you indeed pick up this book and kind of dive into exploring and putting the time and discipline into this aspect it's like there's there's an incredible amount a wealth of information or an entirely new phase of your development that is being kind of triggered by your acceptance of that's the thing is like, because there has to be a willingness on your part, which I want to say is a very natural, there's no uh, pause to consider. It feels like a very natural agreement 
on your part. So the moment you, it's, it, there seems to be kind of like an offer and an acceptance phase. I'm not sure why that's so important, but it's kind of like, it's all, it's being presented to you. Maybe it's like p taking this first book off the shelf, for example, the engagement with this first bird energy is kind of this, um, this is what's possible. And then maybe because there's an incredible amount of work ahead or time or discipline that will need to be invested in this, this new discovery, there's a, there's a point where you will need to make an agreement to be involved. Right. And that's what the passage in the new beginnings cards are talking about. It's like this. And then if you, if you do indeed say yes, it's like, and then the initiation begins and it will be a, an extended journey, right? With the transformation card coming up next, this is an interesting tie into, I think it was the Pisces extended. So the last extended, this card came out and it was kind of talking about this idea about this, something being, well, it's interesting, something being brought to you as, as there's been this kind of idea of a knock on the door and a package coming in and then accepting or receiving that package. There's a lot of information being delivered about with this page of earth, the beginning here and this remembrance card. It's kind of like there's this idea of well, something coming back to you, the return of magic and the remembrance and this transformation card are all kind of this idea of, it's like this book that you're finding in the bookstore, although it may not be apparent in the beginning, is really kind of bringing something back to you. It could be, you know, the gateway to discovering an aspect of yourself or a gift something that's unique to you. And that could be, that could be what this is talking about, that there's some sort of a uniqueness in the mix, in the variety that when you hone in on it and, and pull it to the forefront, it's interesting because it is a bird that she's holding, that it's going to initiate this, this transformation within you that is kind of unexpected. It's interesting because in the Pisces reading, it was, is this true or not? In the Pisces reading, this is my instinct, so I'm gonna say it, even though I'm, I'm wanting to feel into whether it's true or not. In the Pisces reading, it was kind of like, and a couple readings now, it's talking about you're already doing your thing, it's just not in the right environment. So it's like you're gonna continue doing your thing but when you, when you do it in the correct environment, it really blossoms and thrives in a, in a new way. This is a, a similar, it's a similar mechanism in the sense that so, some new thing is coming in that's, that wasn't there previously. What am I trying to get at here? It's like something, something is, is it's almost like it's being handed to you. It's just jumping off the shelf, right? It may not feel that way to you in the way that it's unfolding. Like it's, it's kind of coming in like you may just be discovering a new uh, Facebook group that is, you know, a subject that you are intrigued by, therefore entering the group. But within that group, although you're all there under the same interest, there's something deeper there that's going to come to the surface. It's going to show itself to you. And when you, upon further investigation, it's kind of opening up this transformational aspect that what I'm trying to get to is that it's different than the other readings in that I feel like it's kind of, it is a shift. Although there may be elements that are a thread to your previous work or your previous focus or interest, this is a new, with the new beginnings in the passage card, it's a, a completely new initiation to a new area of study or a new, with the remembrance card, I want to say a new gift that you have yet to remember is yours, right? See what I'm saying? So it, it may not be directly related to things that you already know about your abilities or gifts or strengths. You see what I'm saying? It's like, 
It's taking you, I want to say it's taking you in a new direction. Something very unexpected. Something that hasn't been on your radar up until now. But once it's presented to you and you investigate it a little bit, like I said, it's going to be a lot of hard work and time and discipline, but it's intriguing enough to you that I feel like you're going to want to take it on. Okay, and then there's something interesting here with the gravity and the activation card. Again, with these two butterflies, the two, the two winged ones, as opposed to all of the other creatures in the scene. And then the activation cards. There's something about... <clears throat> There's something about this grouping, this community, the energy in the space, whether it's objects, books, ideas, individuals, whatever it is, it's like the, the broader environment seems to be essential to this, maybe because, because you're not going to find these, these two winged ones unless you go into this area where they are. It could be why it's significant, but there's something about it was always there. It required this grouping or this combination of the spectrum of energies, the group of characters. It required all of that in order to really highlight or activate this aspect. There's something like it could just be something about how like it's it was dormant. It's within you, but dormant. Or the situation was, it's almost like the situation, maybe the environment, the grouping may have been there for some time, but it has been dormant or inactive. And it could just be the fact that you hadn't arrived yet, perhaps, or you hadn't identified these elements that are seem to be key to the activation and it's like once you identify those elements that's when the activation happens so it could just be talking about um, your need to investigate and use discernment to find these ones in the mix so this could be I was going to say these could, this could be energies or an environment that you've been around for some time, but that's not true. It feels to me like this, like you're, you're going into a new, a new group or a new area, but that, that group or that area may have been established some time ago. That's what it's talking about. It's like the scene has been set for some time. It's requiring, it's requiring several aspects it's requiring your arrival which is your agreement or engagement in this energy but then also your um you the time and energy and discipline and discernment to be able to identify these aspects does that make sense to find the winged ones within within the group So although all, all of this may be, have, all of this may have been in existence or set up or like, it's not necessarily that it's a new thing. It's not like a new group coming together necessarily. It may not even be a new book. It could be quite an old book with the remembrance, with the page of earth card here, right? It could be, it could be quite a historical document, for example. It's like, it's, it may have been there for some time. It's just taken you some time to to walk into that scene. And it's almost like once you walk into that scene, it's activating it. It's almost like you're activating the scene. It could be, it could be these ones. I'm saying that they're kind of understated and quiet, but here they're, they're the, they're the spotlighted energy, right? They're the ones kind of pulling against the gravity and all the others are watching. So it's almost like it could be kind of a, a mutual activation in the sense that the winged ones did not show themselves until you walked into the scene. Even though they may have been in the mix the whole time, you walk into the scene, it activates them. It activates your recognition of them with the remembrance card here. And it could be a really subtle thing, right? Like this, like just kind of seeing this 
subtle suggestion of the, of the wings, right? Of the winged ones. Maybe this is something about you and your ability to perceive like energetics or aura or Akashic information about individuals. It's like you could scan the room and start to begin sensing kind of winged aspects of some of the quieter, the quieter ones in the group. Okay, so a mutual activation, but then there's something here about the, okay, maybe this is, maybe this is what I was trying to get at with this card here. These two cards, the lake and the fool at the end. There's a real emphasis here on, there's this kind of weightedness about maybe what you've been doing recently. There's something about the hair and this figure here that was really drawing me in. It's like some focus that you've held recently or like, a, well, it could be the aisle of the bookstore that you've been in up until now when you turn down this aisle. It's like all of the stuff that you've been taking in or spending time studying or pondering or investigating because it's all up in the hair. It's like the hair is all kind of tangled and um, it's all up in the head, right? And all of that has really kind of pulled you down. It's been pulling you down. You might not realize it, but it, if you if you think about it, if you feel into it, it may become really apparent that the aisle of the bookstore that you've been in up until now has been really pulling on you energetically. And this is, is turning the corner and bringing in this this newness. So that could be what we're talking about here. What I'm trying to talk about here is that what you've been doing and what you're about to do, if you, if you are willing and accepting of this unfolding is, is, is a new thing. It's kind of like, it's two diverging paths. You're going to be leaving behind that area of the bookstore and moving into a new area of the bookstore. That's what the fool is talking about. Okay. So I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that link is in the description. If not, I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.